Feather duster worms are rooted statically to the reef and feed by filtering plankton from the water with their tentacles and passing it into the central mouth. Colourful Christmas tree worms embed themselves into porous stony corals, such as this lobe coral. They are highly sensitive to disturbances. At the slightest sign of danger, the worm retracts into the coral and seals the opening. When they feel the coast is clear, the worms re-emerge in their full glory. This interesting echinoderm is known as a large burrowing sea cucumber. It roots itself into the substrate and holds its outer tentacles in the current. When it has captured sufficient plankton, the tentacles reach down towards the centre, allowing the smaller inner tentacles to scoop the food into the mouth. Grafe's sea cucumber is very common at shallow depths in the Andaman. Its mouth contains 25 adhesive black tentacles which it uses to walk over the reef and to pick up food from the substrate. This one even attached itself to my camera lens. The mouth of the amberfish sea cucumber contains 18 tentacles and is underneath the body. After digesting what it can from the material it has ingested from the seabed, the waste products are expelled at the anus. But the anus not only serves this purpose, it is also how the cucumber breathes, by sucking water in and out. The grave sea cucumber breeds by releasing sperm or eggs, collectively known as gametes, into the water.